Hi, I'm Denise Butler, and I am the Geriatric Assessment Clinic Coordinator here at the Riverside Center for Excellence in Aging and Lifelong Health at SEAL. So what is a geriatric assessment, conference of geriatric assessment, and kind of what's the benefit? What, why would we want to do that? So what I'll tell you is that it is just what it says. It is a conference of geriatric assessment. And we work with a team, and you may have seen some of the other team members in other videos. Um, we have a nurse, Christina Berge, who is um, our nurse here. Dr. Meehan provide, is our provider. She is a board-certified geriatrician. Jennifer Purdy is one of our two pharmac clinical pharmacists that's part of the team, as well as Barry Rumble. And in myself, and we all have different roles. My role is not just the coordination of this, but it's working um, with the patients and their family or care partners, whoever those might be. Sometimes it's a friend, sometimes it's a neighbor. And it's not always family. Some people do not have family to kind of help support them. And that's what we're looking at. How do we best support this person and figure out where their needs are and how do we give them that best quality of life? So what we're looking at here is not just memory loss, and is that the main reason people come and see us? Well, there are concerns that there's some changes in my ability to do things, my ability to think things through. Or someone may have noticed that they're struggling a little bit more. They're not doing things the same way they used to. Some of it may involve behavior changes. So what we want to do is take a look at that individual from a lot of different perspectives and figure out what's going on, what is rule in and rule out, what it is and what it isn't. Our first visit's about an hour and a half long, and that's really just basically gathering information to better understand not just what's medically, um, what the medical situation is and any um, illnesses, any chronic illnesses they may have, any other concerns, but also who they are as a person. Where did they come from? What do they do for a living? How far did they go in school? Do they have children? What is their family? What matters to them? Is this can't be about just what might be the matter with them, but it has to be what matters to them as a person. We all have different values. For some people, that value is their family. Some people, it's their pet, their dog is the most important thing in the world to them. That's who they are. Their church, their family, um, their church family may be what's important. So we have to figure out where that person is, what is that matters, what is that thing that brings joy into their life every day? What is it that makes makes them get up in the morning and want to get on with their day? What is their purpose? We all need a purpose. So in the geriatric assessment clinic, we're looking at all those things. We're looking at that person from a lot of different perspectives. It's not just one thing. That's why our visits take, take as long as they do. You can't get to know somebody in 15 minutes. It really takes time. And we say, we're on this journey with you. And if it's normal aging, we'll have you come back in a year and check in and see how you're doing. If it's something different, um, if there's a true cognitive change, we'll check in with you maybe every three months, maybe every six months, kind of figure out what's going on. We're always gonna work cooperatively with our primary care physicians. We wanna make sure that this is a collaborative effort. One of the important things to know about our clinic is that it's consultative. We're not treating. We are coming to, you are coming to us for a consultation to kind of check things out and see where you are and what's needed. Maybe what is, what is the resource in the community that you might be able to avail yourself of. That's also what we're doing here. So we're providing a lot of different services through this assessment clinic, not just the assessment itself.